A New Jersey assemblyman named Tim Eustace is proposing a bill that would legalize medical marijuana for women experiencing menstrual cramps. So CBS2 reports here, rather than giving opioids or painkillers, which is the usual treatment, this would be a less harmful, less addictive drug. Governor Chris Christie has long opposed the use of medical marijuana, and right now in the state, a doctor must prove a patient has a debilitating medical condition with chronic pain, such as multiple sclerosis, cancer, or terminal illness. All right, so, um, I don't think a lot of people really get just how bad those fucking things can be. Uh, an ex-girlfriend of mine had, uh, cramps like this, like the debilitating variety, and it, like, it, it knocked you the fuck out. <laughs> like, you almost can't do anything for a few days. You're, you're just in excruciating pain, and obviously it happens all the fucking time. And, you know, to not allow them to have weed seems really fucking strange because with some people, the uh, opiate painkillers, they just, they don't like them. They make them dizzy or they make them nauseous or there's a, a million and one reasons why people dislike them. Some people say, hey, they're too addictive and all that stuff. To each their own. If, if somebody is experiencing this, this excruciating pain and they want that, by all means, I'm not going to stop you from getting it. And if somebody ex experiences it and they want marijuana instead, again, I'm not going to stop you. I think that makes a, a lot of sense. But it's so funny to look at our double standard here because by any uh, objective measure, it is true that the painkillers are a more addictor, addictive drug. They're a more dangerous drug. And guys, they're synthetic heroin. Like, let's understand what they are. It's basically you're taking low-dose synthetic heroin. So, uh, to say, like, no, we can't allow the marijuana because drugs. That's a drug. It's bad for you. Allow the heroin, though. <laughs> what the fuck is that? No, it just shows a deep-seated ignorance on medical issues, on drug issues. And, you know, this is why I recommend that everybody read Dr. Carl Hart and understand exactly... Um... It, what really goes on with drug use. And furthermore, I mean, you guys already know my position on this, but this, this isn't just a medical thing. You should be able to go to the local store and get weed. You should be able to go to the local store and get almost any drug you want. You should legalize, tax, and regulate all drugs. Why? Because 80%, in fact, it's actually 80 to 90% of all drug users are moderate users. So all like, it used to be the case that they had reefer madness and they tried to make you think that everybody who smoked weed is a fucking crazy person who's going to lose their mind and it's a drug that ruins your life. Well, now we still think that about many drugs, but not marijuana anymore because we got more education. Carl Hart says that's kind of the case with all drugs. Now, maybe there's a drug like bath salts where you actually turn into face ripper monkey. So that needs to be regulated in a more uh, sufficient way where you take out the, the psychosis causing elements of said drug. And crystal meth is made with diesel fuel. And there are certain additives that, of course, you can't have and that should be banned. And this is part of basic regulation. But the general idea of legalizing, taxing, and regulating is one that's right and is one that would uh, increase freedom. And furthermore, if 80 to 90% are using moderately, then there's nothing to worry about there. And the 10 to 20% who have problems, well, then you give them medical help. You give them rehab. To lock them in a cage and throw away the key like we do right now, I mean, that's as draconian and archaic and stupid as it gets. And that's our policy. And we're so backwards on this stuff that even when it comes to medical reasons, they're like, I don't know, trying to dull your pain. I see your fucking angle here. You're just trying to get high, aren't you? Aren't you? It's unbelievable. Ladies, smoke away if you have the menstrual pain. Or if you don't, I don't give a shit. It's called freedom. Do whatever the fuck you want.